Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Hermitcraft Season 4 with me, False Symmetry, and today we are on top of a tree just over here outside of the main False Labs base, just behind me as you can see. And today I have an awesome episode planned. I have been wanting to build this thing that I am building today forever. Like, I, something I've never ever built in Minecraft, but I really am excited to build it today because I feel like it will work with the whole idea of this base. Let's have a quick flyby. And you will probably already have noticed that there is something added to this base. And that is a weird dirt scaffold off the side of it. That is because I had to do a little bit of measuring and a little bit of planning here for this thing. But yes, guys, we are going to be building it. And it shall be a submarine. Yes, I know. How exciting is that? I'm kind of nervous. I don't know if I'm going to be able to build one very well. I'm sort of using a multitude of images as inspiration today. But here is where I think I want to park it. Because obviously it needs to be a bit above the surface of the water. Because Minecraft water isn't super see-through. You can sort of tell where the bottom of the uh, ocean is over here but not quite and another reason it has to be over this side is because if we look at the land over this side it is way too high up to actually be able to fit a submarine there and i think the terrain around this side is enough that the submarine can go wherever it likes throughout the ocean so let me get my materials together and we shall get started on today's episode to be able to do this thing with ease we are going to need a few things from storage i have just picked up a yellow shulker box from the other side of the storage over there a few people in the last episode commented saying that these should be all dyed gray or white or something to go with the design and that's not really the point of them the point of them is that they are there for me to then actually pick up and grab and start moving around with me so the idea is say you know i've got a black one and a cyan one on me right now i will pick one that isn't black or cyan so that when I'm using them, it's very, very easy to tell which one I have. So currently, I think what I'm going to do is fill this one up with four water breathing potions. I think I've also got four night vision potions in here. And hopefully that will be enough for the bottom of the sub without needing any more. Um, I also think that we might need... Um, will we need anything else? I don't think we need maps. I don't think we need glass, sand, anything like that. I guess it's not too far to come if I need any more materials, seeing as though... We shall literally be working just over here. I might get some ladders so that I can come up and down of the base, although as long as I've got some enderpearls on me, I should be fine. So I think what I'm going to do, my plan of action is to firstly, in this uh, shape here, we're going to start building the level that is at, I guess, sea level, right? Right in the water. Perhaps I could build the one above, but as it starts going above the waterline, it starts getting like a smaller shape if that makes sense. So I'm going to build the shape of the sub. Uh, we're going to get a nice little outline of uh, the water level. That means I am going to have to hop in the water and build from here. And um, hopefully it doesn't mess the water up too much. Saying that, I will need sponges at some point. I think I've got them in my ender chest. So fingers crossed I've left them there and not at my other base because it will be a bit difficult. But I think this is going to be the perfect placement for a nice sub. And we're going to be building it out of the new block. So I'm pretty excited. I hope you guys are too. So let me quickly get stuff together and we will start building the shape of it. Well, the sun is already going down, but we have the shape ready. Let's have a quick fly because it is going to become dark. I don't want anything to spawn on it. And funnily enough, you can't see it that well, which is, I think, a good thing. I didn't want it to stand out too much and... Being the darkest uh, grey that there is in the game, I think, the, the, the dark grey concrete, I think that it's quite likely that it could look quite mm, quite intense next to the, uh, the big build. But I think actually the scale of it and the colour right now doesn't look like it's going to overtake too much. So it's going to be nice and subtle, which is what I want. Anyway, quickly head inside, go to sleep, carry on with building this thing, and actually... I might need to go get some more grey concrete. I mean, I've got more, but I don't know if it's quite enough, so... <laughs> we need a lot more materials than I think. Well, this isn't too bad, placing blocks, because what I can do right now is I've just made up a little bit extra of uh, the sand, and I can just place it. I didn't realise that. I thought for some reason it would fall and not be very good for uh, 
just being able to place it underneath. So, there you go, that's not too bad. And I don't even need water breathing because I'm not staying under the water all that much, which is kind of handy. So that is what I'm doing right now, finishing off this little back section here, seeing as though this is the bit that's kind of a little bit more difficult to build. I'm trying to make sure that I get it symmetrical both sides, which I'm failing at currently. Haha! <laughs> Of course I am. I mean, you know, what else would you expect? So, let me get on with this and um, we'll have a submarine in no time. I think it's looking pretty good. Well, the back and very complicated part of the sub is now done. While I've still got night vision, I thought I would show you guys since you can actually properly see the shape of it. It's sort of fairly accurate, I guess, to a submarine. I, I don't think it matters too much. You're not actually going to be able to see underneath the water very well. Like, look how clear it looks right now. You can actually see the whole terrain underneath the ocean, which is kind of cool, actually. And you can see just how flat this part of it is right here that I am building in. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to do something I feel like I haven't done in ages and is one of the favourite parts of a video for me. Let's go ahead, guys, and you know what's coming. Let's roll that time lapse. Well guys, it is the moment of truth. I have lit it up, I've walked away, put some stuff away, and also kept most of the junk on me actually. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I have currently put torches on it because I needed to see whether or not um, I need to light it up. I get For now I need to light it up because I'm going to be working on it. Uh, and basically what I need to do... Oh, I, th I wish I'd bought some trapdoors and stuff. I guess I need like a ladder or something on the outside. But my main task right now is to actually head inside with some sponges and I guess some dirt as well. Actually, let's take a night vision. You know what? Let's take a night vision. We've got plenty of them. Shouldn't change much out here. Well, okay. It kind of does a little bit, but it just means I can see underneath the water a whole bunch better. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work. I think that actually, you know what, this is actually small enough to be able to do this fairly well. Yeah, we can do this fairly well. It, this seems to be working okay. I mean, there might be some left at the bottom level, but that's fine. We'd, we'd sort of get in there. I think the whole thing is plugged up as well. That didn't seem to work. There we go. Okay, so I know that this is the back end of the submarine, and therefore I think that block right there is the ocean. <laughs> so we shouldn't touch that one, but I think that every other bit of dirt and everything else in here can actually be removed. This is actually surprisingly quite a large area. From above, it doesn't look that large, but in here, you know, it's quite roomy, you know. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is, uh, between this episode and the next episode, I'm going to plan out an interior for this thing. I definitely want to keep it fairly similar to what's in a submarine, although, uh, as you guys could probably tell, I don't know anything about submarines, uh, other than the fact that they go underwater and, uh, and also come up out of the water like uh, this one here has been built. Um, and, oh yeah, look, I need to get rid of these real quick. Oh no, let's just put a sponge down there. Let's do it, let's go go for all the sponges, there we go. I think this is a very good looking area. Actually saying that, this is actually gonna be quite nice in here because I was thinking that maybe it would have like the, the dripping water effect. Oh, oh it, it, yeah, it's dark in here. I've got night vision, oops. <laughs> okay, hey friend. Didn't realise you were going to spawn in here. Oh, is there one on the other side as well? It's it's likely. It's very likely right now that we could have some friends. I could probably get rid of those. Yeah, look at that. I know what to do. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is make sure I've got no extra blocks inside here. Between this episode and next, I will build and plan out, I guess. Oh, that needs to be plugged up. 
Whoopsie. Um, yeah, between th this episode and next, we shall be, uh, or I shall be um, working on the interior design. So I think what I'm thinking is we need obviously a front area. I might have to add glass. I don't know if submarines have glass. I've got a feeling they don't and they have screens instead. Uh, I will have to obviously do a lot of research uh, between the episodes. Um, uh, but yeah, there'll be like a radar section where you've got like three seats with the three uh, monitors, kind of... I guess we can use, just use a map perhaps of the area, different areas of the ocean around here. Um, we'll have uh, sleeping quarters perhaps at the back, maybe even some more zombie workers perhaps, although it is quite small. I think if we're putting seats here and seats there... You know what, actually, I might put the floor here. Then we've got a five wide floor. I think that will make a lot more sense. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to do a bit of research. One thing I do need to do now, though, is sort out this hole in the wall here by putting... I think I need to put like maybe a light and then um, like an iron bar or a fence at the end. I also need a way out! I haven't... Oh, no. Uh, I guess right here is a good place for a way out. And then we'll put a ladder. Do I have any ladders on me? Please be a ladder. No. Please be a ladder. Yes, okay, good. I was prepared. Don't worry, guys. So yeah, ladder here, and I think we'll also have maybe another trapdoor. Either on the front or the back of the submarine. Again, I will look it up and see where is appropriate, I guess. And yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with this so far. It works well. I uh, just need to plug up that hole and perhaps maybe look at using carpet on top just to stop things spawning. So I'm going to go test that out and see if we can get that working well enough that it doesn't look really awful, which, I mean, anything looks better than torches, I'm pretty sure. Not only do I think I need some carpet on here, I'm actually thinking this could change to quartz to match up with that a little bit better. I'm also planning on thinking... on placing a trapdoor about here. About here might work. There we go, my night vision's run off. Uh, run off? Run out. <laughs> there we go, so we'll put the button maybe this way around. No, does, wait, do buttons not turn around? Okay, fair enough, it goes like that. There we go, there's one there, and we'll also have the one up here also, which will, I guess, go about there. We'll put the button, which you don't have, right behind it. And also, I need to do some sort of, I think, aerial thing. Um, I guess if I move this torch and put one maybe here, if we, if we put like two there, we go for a three high one here and then maybe just a one at the front. Three different types of aerials. <laughs> um, I will also need a way, oh, I need, oh, I might need a button maybe in, can I, maybe we need to move that, I think that might need to go underneath somewhere. I wonder if we can put a, oh, not that. Nope, don't want that at all. I want a button. Okay, if I put a button here, that works. Perfect. Okay, good. We've got that sorted. We also need to, obviously, I think, put another torch down here because it's dark. And I think if we do the water here, if we put you there, and then we'll put, just plonk a little light behind it, which will also be used as an actual light, which is perfect. Great. Put that there. Put another torch there. That should be nice and safe, that end. Oh, we're going to have squids poking through. And then I think we need a floor. What, guy, what, what do you guys think uh, we could do for a floor in here? I guess if the floor is going this level, it'll need to just span the whole the whole place. I wonder if we could fit a second level in here as well. I guess if I had a lower area down this end, we'd have more ceiling height. We could put another floor there, which you could sort of stand on. Hmm... I don't know if I could put beds up on a separate level. I mean, there's plenty of room. There's plenty of room. So, what is next? Next on my list is actually to work out uh, some decor on the outside. Now, I have done a thing with trapdoors inside that base there, which I'm not over there, so I can't show you guys, but vertical trapdoors. So basically, how trapdoors work is you place them down, and wherever you place them, they will only stay horizontal uh, unless you power them uh, in which case, they only stay powered when that redstone's there. But you can actually trick Minecraft into basically uh, changing that. And the way you do that is by placing one down, get a piston, 
power the trapdoor, power the piston, you can remove the power, you can remove the piston, and it will stay like that, which is perfect. Exactly what I want. I am actually going to have to move this back if I want to continuously place these along this row here. That is my plan. I want to add just trapdoors all the way along here and see what that looks like, if it looks good or not. I had no idea if it will, but this will take a little bit of time. Also, I've placed that in completely the wrong place. I've also fallen off the uh, <laughs> fallen off the submarine. This is going well. Um, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. So I've done that on one side. We're now going to take a step back and have a look. Okay, so the carpet over there, which I, I would zoom in, but I don't have Optifine. There is carpet from there to, I think, about there. And you can't tell the difference from afar, like, you can only tell the difference because it is the edge of a block. So I can actually make this area nice and dark and have just light popping out of the, uh, the holes there, and also the back of the submarine that you can see glowing over there as well. Could even possibly, if we wanted to, put a light at the front, but I think this is working quite nicely. I think the arrows give it some extra detail, and the iron trapdoors work really well. I think I'm going to add one on the front there. I'm going to do the same on the other side of that too. Perhaps try and change these for quartz so that they match the trap doors so we can get kind of a grey and white theme rather than different shades of grey. And um, I think that's working really well. I just need to go get some more wool as well, which I don't think I'm going to go fetch because that is all the way out the sheep farm in uh, in the spawn town. And I don't fancy travelling there right now. So let me make up the rest of the carpets I can, fiddle around with this thing, and we should have it looking pretty fancy and ready to build an interior next episode which is pretty exciting and yeah any ideas you guys have let me know in the comments below as always so i realize what you guys are probably writing in the comments right now false adding white along this line here is gonna make it seem too kind of uh too standing out uh, ish um i guess so but my reasoning behind doing this, and I mean, only if it looks good, I, I, I need to step back and see if it actually looks good before I actually 100% go with this. But this is actually going to be a research submarine. It's not going to be um, anything else. It's just out here for research, um, researching the kind of sea around it and the, the, the animals that lie within, I guess, <laughs> um, to make it sound more epic than it actually is. And yeah, so I think, you know what, actually, I think that works. It, it just makes the... Uh, the white pop a little bit more and kind of go with the actual rest of the design. So I think I'm going to continue this along, I can continue it like so. I don't know if I like this bit at the end, but we'll we'll soon see if it looks good or not. So let me have a quick flyby and see if this looks any better than it did before. The trapdoors I actually really like, I think it works better with the base. And I think that actually works better with the base as well. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, I think that it's really good. So, um, it does turn out a little bit more than I would like from that angle, looking at it from over by the portal, because, uh, I think mostly because you've got kind of void behind it, rather than actual land. Uh, but I think, in, overall, it looks really good, and I think once the torches are removed, and we have an interior for it, and everything like that, and we get used to it being here, I think it'll look really awesome. I do actually want to, I think, just change up this and have it be quartz all the way along though instead just because it looks a little bit broken up for like no reason otherwise um there we go and put the place torches back for now and i think i think that is it i think that is it for our submarine i'm really happy with it i hope you guys are too i hope you guys like this episode and perhaps i've given you guys some ideas for some submarine type things going on in your own builds but that is sadly it for this episode guys i have run out of time but we will next episode start working on the interior in here and look how roomy it is it is so roomy it is ridiculous we are going to have to add some sort of way out over here as well i believe because otherwise we're going to struggle to get out but i think overall very happy with this so far leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it guys subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys in the next episode See ya. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.